Hello viewers, here is a Sunbeams Vista Professional Food Processor. Let's see what the model number is here. Very, very heavy machine. The model number is 84071 and look at that made in the Japan not made in the China Ooh, made in China made in the Japan so this probably still works and it'll probably still work for the next 50 years it's got a nice looking motor in there this has got to be a good 10 or 15 pounds. The rubber feet are starting to crack a little bit, but they're still completely pliable. So those need to be replaced at some point, I guess, but they've got years left on them still. I'm not sure if this came with everything it would have sold with. It has enough things here to be totally useful. It needs a fair bit of a cleaning, but to be expected. So put this on here. And uh, this is still plenty sharp. This motor turns freely but I'm sure it could fare to be lubricated. top part this has a little pouring spout on the, on the side of it and this goes on here and it presses down the button and so this should We should have a, an, a ready light on this now. And we do. And if it was not ready, this would be out of position. I still haven't gotten a new light fixture in here, so I can't easily turn the lights off. And that's what those look like. I can't tell if those are neon or the stupid LED. I guess in this case LED would be passable because LEDs are okay for indicator lights. Anyway, so that's powered on. And it looks to me like the red one is dim. So they probably left it plugged in for many, many years. This was in an awesome vintage kitchen. I almost hated to take it out of that kitchen. And a lot of the small appliances were newer, but the major appliances were probably from the 70s. There was a really awesome stove. It was an old gas stove, six burners, and it looked like it came out of the factory yesterday. Unfortunately, it wasn't for sale. But anyways, so let's turn this thing on. Okay, it works. Do the pulse. That's working as well. I'm not sure what auto pulse is. Well, couldn't figure out before the phone rang. Okay, so, anyways, I think the auto pulse was just pulsing by itself. So, this must have some kind of electronic control set in there. Which I don't particularly like electronic controls, but it is still working this many years later. And yes, what I just did was very dangerous. Okay, um, 
this, I believe. How does this work? I use one of these things all the time with this, but I very, very seldom use these blades. I think, uh, in theory, you're supposed to take this off. I don't like how tight that is. And then you put this over here. Is that how it works? There must be a piece missing. Because it doesn't that doesn't fit in there. Hmm. Because obviously this goes on there like oh no, so that doesn't even so there's gotta be something missing. Um, which is kinda stinks, but at the same time I don't think that's something that can't be found because I have another one of these and I'm pretty sure the shaft is the same size. So unless does it go? I'm trying to think of how the other one works. I can't remember. Well, anyways, it's whatever it is. I will check the other one and see see if it has a similar. No, what's the problem here? I'll check the other one and see if it has an adapter with it. I'm pretty sure it does. But anyways, even if I have to find an adapter for it, this is still a pretty cool piece and it was a good deal too. So this gets me closer to completing my set of vintage kitchen appliances, which, unlike most of the things that I buy, this I actually need. <laughs>